Hey everybody, Scott here from G System Videos, back again from another short break. I, uh, I was busy doing some other projects last week, but uh, I'm back. And today I'm going to show you a new overdrive setting that I've uh, created using the Nova Drive and the G System. And uh, it's covering a lot of uh, musical ground for me. Uh, I was finding that my mildest crunch setting just wasn't cutting it. It was a little bit too heavy for certain songs. So, let's do this. There's a little Brian Adams for you. Now, that's the kind of song that's really going to benefit from this patch. And what I'm doing with the Overdrive is I've got the Overdrive and the Distortion on. Although you can't really hear the Distortion, they run simultaneous. Now, it's, it's uh, basically the same settings uh, as my uh, Crunch number 1 with the uh, Overdrive setting for a good uh, Tube Screamer kind of tone. And uh, Overdrive Mix 100. But here's the thing, what I'm doing is I've rolled the distortion gain way down so it's really not perceivable. But it needs to be in the, in the, uh, the, uh, the chain of effects here because I need to have the control over the bass. And that's what I'm doing is I'm rolling the bass way down. And that's how I'm getting that really uh, clear, tight low end on that song, or for that tone, I should say. And... Uh, the other thing that I'm doing that's really, uh, really good for this one is the gate. I'm using the gate in a different way. And uh, I've rolled up the threshold to 32, the dampening down to 16, and the speed down to 16. My old gate of all 24s wasn't cutting it, so I've basically uh, changed all my gates around. And I'm also using some delay. Not a lot, just a little bit, a little single delay. And it's not timed for anything in particular. Um, although the cuts are set a little bit. I want to roll this one back a little bit. And uh, the pitch. I'm using the detune because I'm only using one amp right now. And uh, I'm buying a new amp in a few days. So I'm going to start doing uh, single amp settings again. And... Uh, well, more of them, I should say. Because for a while, I'm going to be using a single amp. That's what I've done with that. The reverb is a plate reverb. Pretty simple. I rolled the pre-delay up pretty high to get more guitar before the effect kicks in. Here's another big thing there is the uh, low color to thin and zero. So we're not getting any... Uh, any low end on the reverb as well. It just helps with the overall sound. I'll play a few more little uh, pieces of tunes that are going to benefit from this. Let's go. There you go, everybody. I really like the uh, extra control I have over the low end by adding the uh, distortion in with the Nova Drive and then rolling it back. It uh, It's really going to help with a bunch of the songs that we do. Um, I was feeling like my low end was a little bit too much on certain tunes, so this is going to be great. I'll uh, 
I'll let you know how it sounds at the gig. Rock on.